it is Monday, December 5th, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Monday puzzle today, of course, so an easy, relatively easy, approachable themed grid. And that's good because it is one of those days uh, on which I'm fairly pressed for time, so hopefully we will solve this quickly. And this quick edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Victoria Rojishka, Kathleen Quinn, Cortadia File, and, as always, the invaluable Timothy Mark and the indomitable Shulmaster. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support in sustaining this channel. And if you'd like to become a benefactor yourself and get the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug, you can find that at patreon.com slash daily solve or in a link in the description field underneath the video. And at that same link, you can, of course, become a patron at any level and get access to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week. Thank you to everybody who has become a patron at any time for any amount at any tier. I do very much appreciate it. It keeps the channel going. So thank you for that. And you can also in another link down there, join the Daily Solve Discord chat server, that chat community, and you can um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks to everybody who's done that as well. All right, so let's get on to the crossword. This was a Monday puzzle constructed by Tracy Gray, who's constructed a few dozen puzzles, so a pretty experienced crossword constructor, and it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving and see what we have in store. Center for an ear of corn, a cob of corn, right? Um, Pepsi or RC, those are cola brands, soda brands. Had bills to pay, owed money? And wise bird, an owl is often thought to be wise. I don't think they are particularly wise, apparently. Not that I know much about bird intelligence, but apparently they're not, but they're sort of symbols of intelligence. Only three-letter zodiac sign. Leo, I suppose. Okay. Only three-letter one, I suppose. And Mexican marinade made with chili peppers is um, adobo, I want to say. So what is this? Looks like blood something? Concern for a horse breeder. Oh, bloodline, maybe. Right, you'd have a bloodline from you know, connecting the, the horses along a genetic path. Actress Arthur of the Golden Girls, B. Arthur, was a... Was, is? Not actually sure, sorry. And bit of banking documentation. Oh, and this is part of our theme. Well, I, shall I jump down and look at the theme? Maybe I will. Let's look at it. 62, oopsie, and a hit to the, hint to the ends of several things. So oopsie and a hint to the end. I'm not sure what that means quite yet. But let's look here. Ice cream cone portions. Scoops. You could have, I don't know, one or two or maybe even three scoops on a cone. Meant the golf club standard. Sh shot par? Golf, did I say club? Golf course standard. Right. So you, you, you made par, the number of strokes that is considered, I don't know, standard or acceptable on that golf course. Shakespearean Prince, uh, Prince Hal, Prince uh, Henry. And last car on classic trains, a caboose. Earns a dog treat, say, is obeys, uh, and is thus rewarded with a dog treat. Actress Marissa of the wrestler, Marissa Tomei, uh, is an actor, an actress, and then Bama rival. So this is referring to Alabama, uh, University of Alabama, I guess. So Ole, Ole Miss, Mississippi, is it? Oh, no, I can't remember. Is it Mississippi or Missouri? Mississippi, I guess. Uh, boy, that was, <laughs> I thought I knew what this was, and then I realized maybe I'm not 100% sure. Pencil tip could be a point of a pencil. Uh, in any case, it is a university, one way or the other. And a craving is a yen. I have a I have a yen for uh, for something. I have a craving for it. An outcome is a result. And officiated at a baseball game is umped, played um, uh, acted as um, umpire. Um, walk with a backpack maybe is a hike. Ah, right. So that could be that could be I suppose a verb or a noun. A walk that includes a backpack could be a hike, or you could walk with a backpack. You could hike. Amazon Fire competitor. I think this is one of those streaming boxes. What would be a competitor to it? I'm not sure. Maybe that's not what this is. 
I'm not sure I was keep looking. X to Greeks could be Chi, the letter, the Greek letter, and a town in Westchester County, New York, where the Clintons live. I'm not sure off the top of my head. Word repeated before hooray, hip, hip, hooray for the, the cheer. Oh, so iPad. Oh, is Amazon Fire an, a tablet device then? I guess it must be. Maybe it's a whole line of things. I don't know. All right. Well, I think this is probably the answer. I don't think it's iPod. And I don't see what else it would be. So letters on a wanted poster, aka also known as so an alias of a criminal. Town in Westchester. Oh, oh it'll be one of these sort of chapa ones um, that presumably derive from the same language as, say, chapa critic, for instance. But I'm not sure what this one is. Yeah, keep looking. Thousand G's, a million, a mil. G for a thousand. So bit of banking documentation. Oh, a deposit slip. Oh, so a slip, a slip is an error, an oopsie. So, oh, I see. So we have miss, slip, right. Okay. So we'll keep getting, we'll keep getting synonyms for mistakes or errors about which you might say, oopsie. Okay. Give approval okayed, maybe? And let me inquire about that. I'll ask, you might say. Ipso facto, is a phrase. And modern architect I.M. Pei, the um, incredibly famous architect who I think passed away relatively recently. Big jump is a leap. And a cause of many California earthquakes is the San Andreas Fault, which I know having uh, grown up in California. Uh, yeah, earthquake, earthquake territory. Aida or Lohengrin, those are operas, but because this is an or clue, we're only referring to either one of them, to either Aida or to Lohengrin, so a single opera. It's pressed to go left, right, up, or down on a computer, an arrow key, I suppose. And a flatbread in Indian cooking would be non. Stadium cheer would be raw. And steering equipment on ships is why well, don't I see what it is? I don't know. How the helms? Take the helm? Take the wheel? Helms. It's just strange because you'd only have one of those on a ship, wouldn't you? I mean obviously more than one exists in the world, so it's reasonable for it to be plural. I just Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. For some reason it sort of grated against my brain for a moment, but I guess it's probably the answer. Let's look at the crosses and see. Scottish estate owner, a laird, um, lord, I believe that would be. And uh, and the Scottish means we're using um, Scottish language in order to express this. Um, former, although I guess laird is also sort of, I guess, I guess it's also just sort of a, a standard English word referring to the Scottish concept as well. Anyway, let's keep going. So, former moniker of reality TV star Elena Thompson. I don't know. I've never heard of that person, I don't think. What about the downs? Get Your Blank Out, Rolling Stones album. Get Your Yaya's Out is a Rolling Stones album. And book used at inaugurations. The Bible is often used to inaugurate people into roles, um, certainly in U.S. politics. Speak at length is orate to deliver an oration. And, oh, my bad. Oh, right, here's our theme. So oopsie and a hint to the end, my bad. So, so that's a way to say oopsie. And why are these my bad as opposed to just, does the my have any component? I'm not sure. Not sure if I'm seeing that or not. But we'll keep going for now. Hot boozy beverage is a toddy, a hot toddy, a whiskey, for instance, a yeah, whiskey hot toddy. Like a margarita glass for him, salty, it's often, margarita glass is often salted. And oily roofing material is tar. Makeup of a muffin top top is, oh, so not, not in a, not in the baked good, but metaphorically on a person is sort of flab, I guess. So sort of um, flab kind of coming past your waistline, I guess, is what that sort of is referring to. 
Uh, and then ways reporters get some secret information is, I don't know. <laughs> I thought maybe by the end of reading it, I would have the answer, but I don't think I do. What about this? Some hairsprays are aerosols, aerosol sprays. I think less common than they used to be, but obviously still exist. So what is this? Oh, leaks, leaks. Some reporters get some secret information from leaks from, I don't know, a company or a government organization or something. To act like a sore loser is to sulk, and many Paw Patrol watchers are tots, I suppose. That's a children's series, so it seems plausible. The, the status quo, there we go, another uh, Latin phrase. And, oh, Chappaqua. That sounds right. That sounds sort of familiar. So would that be an A? And then find, yes, finally is at last. So Chappaqua is the town in Westchester County, New York. Okay, there we go. Back talk is sass, I'm talking back. And then coins used in 19 countries, uh, euros, the countries of the Eurozone that use the euro as their, their official currency. A caterer's coffee vessel could be an urn and one-time manufacturer of the flying cloud and Royale. Ario, Ario is a, a defunct automaker, uh, probably best preserved these days through the name of the band Ario Speedwagon, which was a model, an Ario model, I believe. And Cheerios grain is an uh, oat used in the uh, breakfast cereal Cheerios, leading for a moment or for profit, not for a moment or not for profit, referring to two different concepts, I guess. Uh, well, a sort of phrase and then a type of organization. So, oh, right, sorry, I was reading this former moniker in the wrong place. I do that all the time, I'm sorry. Was I reading it down here? I'm not sure, that was silly. Anyway, I have heard of Honey Boo Boo. I don't know, I don't know what her sort of notable achievements are or what have you, but I think that that must be the former moniker of rea reality TV char child star, Elena Thompson. Certainly, certainly someone who exists is <laughs> Honey Boo Boo. Okay, unlike rabbits, their young are born open-eyed and hopping. Um, hopping, what, what hops? Hares? Rabbits versus hares? I don't remember exactly how to sort of distinguish, but that, this, must be the, this must be the difference. Or sorry, this must be the, this must be the answer. Um, coleslaw is a is a, a dish, and novelist James, who co-wrote the screenplay for the African Queen, uh, not sure off the top of my head. Oh wait, sorry. Once again, I'm looking at the wrong. How do, oh right, I'm looking at the wrong thing. This is Bullseye for Target, is is um, logo right? I wanted this to be James Agee, which it is. When I actually look at the correct, when I actually look at the correct. Um, answer. I really need to train myself to look up here. I can't, it's, it's ridiculous how, how frequently, twice already today, I have read the wrong clue because I was looking at the wrong across or down column. Okay, bottle stopper is a cork, is in a wine bottle, of course, and a sur surgical souvenir is a scar, so that fills in. Flushed as cheeks, or cheeks are rosy, uh, rosy cheeks are flushed, that is, and letters on love letters. Hmm, not sure. Or confess to is own up to. So does that help this? I don't know if it does. I'm still not seeing it. That's strange. This rounds on me, you might say, at a at a bar or a pub. And a gravy glob could be what a lump of gravy, I guess. Why would it be a lump? <laughs> Why would gravy in particular have lumps? I mean, I guess when it sort of has a lump of flour that wasn't whisked sufficiently or sifted or something. Dry cleaner's target is a spot, maybe a stain, and water balloons at summer camp maybe are ammo. And if one hung on to something, one kept it. Oh, whoops, I spelled ammo incorrectly. Okay, so this was lump. The gravy glob is a lump. And then hung on to is kept, and letters on love letters are swak, S-W-A-K. Sealed with a kiss? I don't think I've ever seen that initialism before. I've never seen SWAK for sealed with a kiss, but that must be what it is. I just can't think what else it would refer to. So there we go. That was the Monday puzzle. 
a nice straightforward theme dealing with um, mistakes, essentially. All Miss, Deposit, Slip, San Andreas Fault, and Honey Boo Boo, uh, all of which are uh, connected through our revealer, which states my bad, so indicating mistakes. So I think the my bad is not, I don't think the my has any component in the clue. I think it's, it's or in the theme, it's just that my bad is itself a way to, to own up, actually, as we had somewhere in the grid, to one's mistakes. So there we go. And I think maybe my B was in the puzzle two days ago, maybe, remember, it's obviously a contraction of my bad. Anyway, there we go. A Monday-themed, approachable-themed crossword by Tracy Gray. And... Uh, nicely symmetrical, as we can see, with our high level, vertically symmetrical, which I didn't mention. Um, I guess that must be, there must have been a reason that needed to be um, the case for this puzzle in order to get the uh, the crosswords in. It kind of looks like a face, actually. It sort of looks like a smiling face. You can see San Andreas Fault looks like it's kind of bisecting a mouth and then two eyes between all Mouse, all Miss and Deposit Slip, and then we kind of have the outline of a forehead flanking Ole Miss, and it sort of it sort of looks like a, almost like a panda face or something, actually, if I sort of squint. Oh, I wonder if that's intentional. I can't tell. Anyway, that was the puzzle. Let's quickly uh, discuss yesterday's puzzle, because I first wanted to mention not a specific comment, but rather a sort of thread of discussion for, uh, more broadly on yesterday's puzzle around the crossing of Ciara and Cardi B, which I objected to because they're two proper nouns, two names, um, which I consider, I, I consider proper nouns to be kind of a special category of crossword clue because they don't, you know, they wouldn't, they're not part of vocabulary in the sense that they wouldn't be part of a dictionary, for instance. They require specific uh, knowledge about a subject area as opposed to broad familiarity with the English language as vocabulary, if you see what I mean. So when two proper nouns cross, especially um, I feel this way in general about specific areas of knowledge, but particularly with names. Um, when they cross, I feel as though that's a really dangerous uh, part of crossword grids. Not dangerous in a real sense. Just it's just it's particularly tricky to solve. And when they're in overlapping areas, such as yesterday, as they were in the kind of realm of pop music, um, I think that can be uh, a particularly unfair, or challenging cross. And I think. I probably stated that too strongly, and it sounded as though, I think to some people, I think understandably, that I was taking issue with the idea of, or the sort of, you know, execution of cluing these particular artists themselves, Cardi B and Ciara, which certainly was not my intention. So I hope that um, that wasn't what most people took, but I understand that the uh, the sort of way that I reacted to those clues may have seemed as such. Um, uh, really what I was trying to communicate was when you have proper nouns of a particular uh, realm of knowledge, it's dangerous to cross them because the whole point of crosses is that uh, even if you don't know at least one of the two things, you'll have a different category of knowledge that will help you uh, fill out the crossword through the other, um, the other clues. As people did point out in the comments, Cardi B is an incredibly sort of ubiquitous name. And even I, someone who, I don't know that I know any Cardi B songs, but I've certainly heard of Cardi B and I, I even know what she looks like. So, I mean, I'm obviously familiar with this person as I would, as I suspect many people are obviously these days. Um, so that, that did allow me to solve the puzzle. So it's not as though I was sort of, you know, I don't, I don't, and even then I don't object to not knowing things in the crossword. That in itself is not, not even an issue, even if I didn't have that knowledge. Um, it was just the overlapping body of knowledge around proper nouns. That's all I was reacting to. Um, so I'm sorry if I gave a different impression around that. Anyway, uh, there were also, I think, a couple of other direct corrections to uh, or at least bits of additional knowledge. So any prophet says, I looked it up and Dr. Ruth is alive and kicking at 94. So good for her. I wasn't sure. I think I mentioned I wasn't sure about that at the time. And Ben Ward explains regarding the French phrase sacre bleu, it's a minced oath form referring to their recent, recently in the puzzle was the concept of a minced oath form of sacre dieu or holy God. So there we go. So that's, that's minced to make sacred blue, I suppose. Oh, and Ben Ward also explains, the Proust questionnaire is a set of questions which were answered by Proust in a friend's confession album, 
popular among Victorians, these were a variation on autograph books, which would be filled out by friends uh, answering a page of questions each. So that's interesting. So this was the particular questionnaire that Proust, that Proust answered, answered for a friend. So uh, yeah, I was, I was unfamiliar with that, that concept. I, I, uh, that's very interesting. Um, and then, oh, right. I just, I, I just picked one of the, one of the people sort of quickly commenting on the Cardi B crossing. Sierra crossing Cardi is not ideal, but Cardi B is one of the most ubiquitous pop culture figures today. So it's fine by me. So sure. I, I absolutely understand that perspective. And indeed that was what allowed me to solve, to solve the cross. So obviously it worked in that respect. All right. And there we have it. That is the puzzle for uh, Monday, December 5th and the conclusion of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be back tomorrow with another edition of the Daily Solve for the Tuesday. Puzzle should be another relatively approachable themed grid. Hope you will see you then. But until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Monday. Take care. Mm -hmm.